What's up guys, Seven here, AKA I Got The Keys. Today I wanted to give a really beneficial app review and recommendation on this tool uh, called Deal Check. Investors could utilize this app and very quickly and easily analyze their potential deal. You can do it with this app. Basically, you can figure out uh, how much you would need finance through your lender, uh, your down payment, your, um, your rehab costs, and figure out uh, your total cash needed whenever you're about to close on your property. Furthermore, it really gives you a general breakdown of how and how much you're making uh, whenever you plan on profiting on your project. Go ahead and get started. I want to run through what the app is and what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and share all this information with you here in a few seconds. And of course, if you like the video, if you learn something new, go ahead and press that like button below. And as always, if you want more on real estate business and reviews, go ahead and press that subscribe button for more. Let's get started. I got the keys, keys, keys. All right, guys. So this is going to be a really sweet and short video regarding Deal Check. All I'm going to show you is what Deal Check is, how do you use it, and how you can download it for the free. Right? You know I like that. Let's go ahead and get started. All right. So all you're going to do is simply go to. Oh, let me just hide the screen real quick. All right. So all you're going to do is go type in Deal Check in uh, in Google or whatever service you use and they'll pretty much bring up dealcheck.io they'll click that and again all deal check is is simply an uh, analyzing software for investors um so it doesn't really show you what it looks like on the on the main screen here it gives you a general ideal of everything sure but um this is this is what it'll look like here so um again so you could accurately um, analyze any of your properties. You can import properties from Zillow, which I really hate that this comes from Zillow or Redfin or wherever the case may be. Um, they don't have access or, or they don't have the capability to allow agents, real estate agents, to plug in their MLS data, which I think that would be an extreme beneficial, extremely beneficial functionality if they were to make that capable for us to do that. That way, uh, uh, projections would be a lot more accurate if, that, if they took that route. Nevertheless, um, this is just a really good breakdown on their uh, on their main page here. Um, I like literally everything about the app and everything they show you here is um, accurate. So let's go ahead and sign in and I'll show you exactly what it looks like. Right? So once you sign in, it goes straight to uh, my flip properties in general. So I have all of my flip properties there. I have about nine in here. And I'll just go to a most recent recent project of mine that I just completed. This one here, Jefferson Village. So, um, what I like most about the app, it gives you a, a realistic property analysis. You basically plug in your numbers, and therefore, after you plug in your numbers, it gives you a breakdown of literally everything you the investor needs. So, um, you put you plug in your purchase price. Mine, for example, was one hundred and one five, right? I'm just going to give me a little annotation here. Just so you can see where my mouse is. Ooh. Uh, there we go. Oh. Save. Oops. There we go. All right. So here we go. So you'll plug in your purchase price here, right? Um, you can put in the amount you uh, you plan on using for a rehab cost, right? For this project, we use about nineteen thousand um, dollars, which means our amount finance is one hundred and one. 100 on the dot. It gives us the down payment, which our down payment in this particular transaction was $20,000. Purchase cost was around seven grand. Um, and with all that broken down, we came to an amount of 27,000. We need to bring to the closing table, which that was accurate. Um, and so um, for evaluation, just based on the comps I ran, um, I noticed this property, we could resell it for at least 160. We actually sold it for 165, so I just updated the, the uh, update the, uh, the calculations. Um, we didn't really have a loan payment. Uh, we sold it before we had to pay a loan, so you can sort of ignore the holding cost there. But um, it breaks it down to it gives your selling profit after the fact, at which you know just breaks down the numbers for in layman's terms. So our after after repair value was 165, we spent about four percent. Um, which means our sale proceeds were about 160. We paid back after repaying our loan and our holding costs, at which we didn't have any holding costs in this particular situation. Um, I'm just gonna, gonna bring that down to zero. We didn't have any holding costs other than what five, not even 600 bucks. 
Um, and we ended up profiting a total of $31,000. Yeah, this, this is extremely accurate. So our return of investment was 110% on this. And uh, based on the purchase criteria you could set up in the app, um, it was a green light. So, you know, this is, these are all the things I think the app, why the app is extremely beneficial, um, especially if you're working with clients who need a, a breakdown such as this. Um, this is it right here. So um, I, like, I like it personally because it makes it easier for me to look at all the numbers opposed to writing them down on a pen and pad and having to cycle back through a lot of things over and over and over. So, um, so this app is pretty nifty when it comes to, you know, just the numbers again. You can edit your criteria here. You can add, add in your 75, 65% rule, your price per minute, or I'm sorry, price per unit. Um, all this criteria here you can update for uh, specifically for your business, right? So I'll go back to my clips. Furthermore, yeah, I'll go back into this. Um, in addition to this, uh, the, the overall property analysis, um, you know, you can go and edit everything here, interest rate, all that good stuff, right? Um, it gives you that breakdown again. Let's see. You can add photos if you wanted to. Um, let's see. I'm going to go back to view all properties really quick. Okay. Um, this is the really cool thing. That, oh, yeah. Also, you can uh, you can include your sales in our ARV. This is the only this is the only thing I don't like about the app. Um, the, the, the ARV and sales aren't accurate because they have it pinpoint and set, set to get the data from Zillow. And we all know Zillow is the best it is not accurate at all. So, um, you know, I've already made it known to um, the staff. I, I would really like for you guys to sort of include that for for um, people who have access to MLS to sort of plug in the MLS data. That way we don't have this inaccuracy in regards to our ARV. So I sort of leave this particular function alone because I, again, the comps being pulled there aren't accurate as you want need them to be. Um, but furthermore, you have the property records and listings. You can even look up the owner of the property here, just like so. Um, which again, I guess, hella nifty. As you can see here, my company, Harris SCS LLC, we did own the property last and we recently just sold the property. So uh, another cool item on or function on the app is the purchase offer calculator. So again, it just gives you a general idea of what you should be purchasing for the property based on your criteria that you type in here up under the calculator itself. All right. You also have your reports and sharing, and they have a, a way for investors to print off reports to clients or to your, uh, your partners. Um, they even have a interactive report link at which you just simply copy the report here paste it into your your google and it'll bring up a pretty cool website regarding um it'll bring up a really cool website regarding your property information right so pretty much everything you've seen on your projections your uh, your project projections it makes it into an interactive report and breaks down literally everything furthermore you can turn it into a little customized report just like so with your logo and all that good stuff um i love it so not only that, you don't necessarily have to use an interactive report. They have uh, options for a PDF. So you can either view the PDF or download it to share with somebody. All right. And here goes all the cool breakdown as far as uh, how to customize those reports. So the last thing I wanted to show you was uh, uh, they also have a, an option here to find local lenders. Um, so from, it looks like they have a lot of hard money lenders and uh, made available to you. I personally, you know, I, I haven't called any of these lenders myself, but I, I like that they make the option available there for you. Yeah. So that's really it. Uh, they have a lot of other uh, links and in, uh, in such regarding the particular app, like the real estate glossary and um, online courses, and they have the contact support option. Um, but that's really all I wanted to show you regarding this particular um, application. Again, it is web and app based, so they actually have an app on your phone as well. Um, I can show you what that looks like simply by the screen share or just by simply pulling it up on my phone here, but it's literally the same thing you have on your PC, but on your uh, in your phone. It's pretty cool, no? So, guys, um, that's it. That's all I have in regards to All right, guys, that's all I have in regards to 
the app deal check i hope this is a beneficial app to all of you investors who are sort of curious about how the app works please again this is a, a huge recommendation i went ahead and paid the uh the monthly fee i went ahead and subscribed to this app simply put because uh with my particular business um it's a huge benefit to what i'm needing to accomplish for myself and my clientele so um guys again if you learn something new from the app please do not hesitate to press that like button below and as always uh subscribe for more okay take it easy bye-bye